So to start with, what's uh, what's the price point on that? This is our new Crow iPod dock, or interface dock, for licensing purposes. Uh, ah. It retails for fifteen hundred dollars. Basically, what we've done is we've created a component that is acceptable in any high-end audio system that is is specifically designed for iPods. 120 million people can't be wrong. It's made people want to listen to music. It's made people want to uh, invest in their headphones and their audio systems that are accompanied with the iPod. And we thought, well, if you're buying a, uh, if you're already supporting a format, you have an audio system, you want to play this when you're at a party or you're at dinner or just because you're listening to a random mix of music, you shouldn't have to use a $29 cable to plug into your very expensive audio system. Why not build a component that caters towards an audio, excuse me, enthusiast? And that is the accumulation of why we have created the iPod dock. Um, it has a discrete differential class A circuit that does the preamp gain stages. It has opti optically isolated uh, input, uh, signal input from the iPod. iPods have a differential DAC built into them. We actually optically isolate each one of those phases. It has a digital volume tone control that basically does bass and treble control. And it also will output S-video and composite video. And it integrates into uh, either a system similar to what we have here with powered speakers with balanced or single-ended outputs, or it can be used as a preamplifier, specifically as sort of a iPod preamp for a preamplifier stage where you can push these two buttons and lock it to a specific gain level, and now it is just a source component used with your regular audio video system. These are shipping uh, basically right now. Okay. So get one on order. It's the best stocking stuffer out there right now for the audio yeah, file right. in your life.